Praise the Lord, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Now, we made two vows in that today. We said we will rejoice and be glad in it. Somebody didn't get a Christmas gift underneath their tree, but we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Somebody lost a family member and they're not there this year, but we still going to rejoice and be glad in it. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord, for the invitation that you extended to us today, Lord. And we thank you for the gift that you gave us, Lord, today, Lord. The gift of life, Heavenly Father. To be in our right mind, Heavenly Father. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for every spiritual gift, Lord, that you gave us. We couldn't put that underneath the tree. But, Lord, you gave it to us because we asked of it, Heavenly Father. Lord, I thank you right now, Lord, for the opportunity, Lord, to be in a place, Lord, where we could come together and fellowship, Lord. Your word says, Lord, where there is two or three, Lord, you are in the midst, Heavenly Father, and we thank you, Lord, for showing up, Lord. Now we're looking to be showed out today, Heavenly Father. Blow our minds in this service today, Lord. Set us on fire today, Lord, so that we can go out and share the goodness of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for our speakers today, Lord. Lord, rain your word upon them, Lord, and allow it to be poured out in your people, Lord. Allow our hearts to be broken up, Heavenly Father, so that we can receive your word, Lord, and walk in it in this due season. We honor you and we praise you today, Lord, and we give you nothing but praise and honor in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Scripture reading will be Isaiah 9, verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. May God have a may, may God's word already be blessed in your soul today. With all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and turn the service over to our very own bishop and Dr. Rudley. Please, let's give God some praise for them. Uh, bless your hearts. You may be seated. Glory to God. You may be seated in Thank the presence you, of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made literally. Thank you, uh, Jesus. This is the Lord's day. Yes. And it is marvelous in our eyes. So much has transpired. So much has taken place even as we speak. Yes. Some in some places, Dr. Rutley, are snowed in. Right. Uh, some people don't have an end to be snowed in. Mm, that's true. Uh, as such, uh, some people don't have a home as wow. they once had. Well. Uh, we'll get into that in a few moments, but yes. Jesus, when he was born in the earth, All right. uh, there was no inn, no place, no room. No room in the inn. For uh, his mother and his stepfather, as it were. Mm. And uh, when God is in it, there is no step anything. <laughs> God doesn't have stepchildren. He doesn't have uh, uh, grandchildren. We are all the children of God. Uh, that's right. But... Uh, uh, around the world, uh, in most circles, we are celebrating what we call Christ's birthday as such. Uh, the merchant man is rejoicing if nobody mm -hmm. else is. Oh, yeah. But uh, I rejoice in seeing this day because uh, God is great and greatly to be praised. Dr. Rutley is going to salute you. We thank God for Minister William. Led us in a powerful, meaningful uh, prayer, if you will. We stand on that and we stand in agreement that God will heal, bless, deliver, strengthen. He will bless you like nobody else can and will. We believe in God. That's right. Now, I say that because <laughs> some of you all take the pledge and the privilege to teach your children to believe in Santa Claus. Mm -mm. If you can believe in Santa Claus, we can believe in God Almighty. Okay. And we do. Yes. And we yes, do. We, yes. we hold fast to that. But Dr. Rutley is going to salute you. and We're going to dive into this because 
This is rich. It's awesome. We're going to talk to you if the Lord should be our helper and strength uh, about the true meaning of Christmas, the true meaning of Christmas. We'll be right back in a few moments. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Merry Christmas. Praise this him. is the day that the Lord has made. We choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Minister Williams, for that powerful scripture. You know, what really sticks out to me, we're living in a time, Bishop, these are tumultuous times, mm -hmm. and this is definitely the last of the last days where our peace is being disturbed. Wow. Many of us, our peace is being disturbed, but he is the Prince of yes, Peace. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. Yes, I find yes. my peace in him. Hallelujah. Wow. It's, it's amazing that you would say that mm. because uh, let's go back for starters. Uh, mm. Thank God for the, the uh, passage that Minister read over in Isaiah. Isaiah. Let's go over there. Okay. Uh, we, 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 have, nine, we have passages, six. but let's go over and build on that which Minister I William have uh, laid and put in place, if you will. Mm -hmm. We believe that that was, that was God that gave her it that. It really was, yep. Uh, Isaiah. 9 6. 9 6. Dr. Mm -hmm. Rutley is going to begin reading over there mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. in your hearing. And let's meet over there and let's, let's chop it up. Yes. Now, this, we're going to be racing along because, uh, you know, time waits on no one. Right. And uh, this is a special day in most circles. And some of you, uh, you we, we realize that you don't want to be here because uh, today is Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the place to be. This is the place to be. Some of you be. all this don't want to be up. sitting in front of your television. <laughs> but we who slid in, in, into yes. this, this, this uh, uh, location, yes. this ge geographical location, uh -huh. we're glad to be here. I'm glad to be in the house. Now, Thank some you of you Jesus. all refuse to go to church today. Uh -huh. I'm not going to stay on that long. Don't unfriend me. It's all good, but sir. you're sparing yourself for tonight. You know, for your for the party, the Christmas party I tonight, see. wherever mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. But we're having a party now. Yes, we Lord. celebrate now. Hallelujah! If I was going to sing a song, I would simply say, mm -hmm. "Sing, oh come, let, let us, us adore, him. adore him, for My he God. alone yes. is worthy." Yes, you know. For, for we give him That's right, Bishop. all the glory. Hallelujah. And if you give him all the glory, you yes. really don't have any glory left to give anybody else. That's right, sir. Talk good. And those who have blessed you, if so, if as such, uh, we have to say to God be the glory even for them and thank God for them. Mm -hmm. For it's not about the gift that was under the tree, uh -huh. but it was the gift that the was gift. in the cradle. Yes. Out there in that uh, manger, manger mm. in that in that uh, mm -mm -mm. in that bond, if yeah, you will, yeah. uh, mm -mm -mm. the gift that was wrapped yeah. in swaddling clothes, yes, sir. not a pretty, beautiful wrapping paper as such, but mm. wrapped in swaddling clothes. Mm. The clothes didn't even fit. Mm -hmm. Just 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 wrap the baby uh, to make sure that the baby was warm. And the breath of the animals, Dr. Rutley, as the breath of the animals blew on Jesus, that baby boy child, it warmed him. Mm -hmm. But salute the wow. saints. God bless you. Uh, yeah, with so we're this reading passage. Isaiah 9 6. All right. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, mm. the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Now, my Lord. Isaiah was known as the Eagle Eye Prophet. Yes. He saw this mm -hmm. hundreds of years before Jesus was ever born. Yes. He saw this. But listen at the lingo. He said, For unto us, mm -hmm. why, and Isaiah had been died mm -hmm. before Jesus was born. Why didn't Isaiah say for unto them? Mm -hmm. Because Isaiah realized and recognized that Jesus was going to be his Lord as well. Mm -hmm. So he said for unto us. us. Yes. Listen at this. A child, write down child. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about the true meaning of Christmas. 
And for a subtopic, we want to talk about the gift of God. For unto us, watch this, a child is born. He said that as if though he was right there. Mm -hmm. And he was in spirit. Mm. By faith, faith will put you right where God is. Mm -hmm. Faith will put you right where you should be. Watch this. For unto us, a child is born. Write down a child. Write down a son is given. Mm -hmm. A child, a son, the government shall be upon his shoulder. His name shall be called, look at this, wonderful, write down wonderful, because some people in, the, in their eyes, what God has done in their lives, what God is doing, what God is going to do, it's a, it's a wonderful experience. It's the experience of a lifetime. For some, they would never outlive the wonder and the blissful and the blessings of God, uh, them experiencing God in this lifetime. Uh, for some, he is a counselor. Counselor, not a God. I want you to catch this. The child, the son, will be called wonderful. Counselor, the, the child will God. be called what? The mighty God. Not a God, the right. mighty God. Get yes. the revelation. Right, right. Father, even now, I pray that we will have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Cause us not just to be hearers only, but doers of the word. And of the work that you preordained for us to do before the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. It is so. Amen. Not our will, but his will be done. Mm -hmm. You know, when God does and say a thing, that's what it is, whether we believe it or not. Mm -hmm. But listen at what, it, what, what Isaiah says. This child, this son will be called the mighty God. Mm -hmm. This child, this son will be called the everlasting father. Mm -hmm. listen, look, look, at, look at the revelation. Right. The last revelation here is the Prince of Peace. Yeah. Now, there's about seven different titles and names given to Christ here. Mm -hmm. But the last one, which is seven, mm -hmm. the world is struggling mm -hmm. with this word called peace. That's right, Bishop. Now, watch this, mm -hmm. because this is what is indeed important. Mm -hmm. If you have no peace, mm -hmm. and where there is no God, there is no peace. Right, right. If you don't have the Son of God, if you don't have this mighty God, if you don't have the everlasting Father, mm -hmm. you can forget the Prince of Peace. Right. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Now, what's going to bring about this war of Armageddon is that the peace treaty is going to be broken. Mm -hmm. It's going to be broken. But if you want peace right now, mm -hmm. you need to seek the Lord while he may be found. Yeah. Call upon him while he is near. Yes, mm -hmm. my brother. Yes, my sister. Mm -hmm. Seek ye the Lord. Mm -hmm. Seek him with all of your heart. In all of thine ways acknowledge him. He shall direct your path for the steps of a good man. Ordered they by are the Lord. ordered mm -hmm. by the Lord. So we want you to see over there the different roles and titles. And you need to, you need to see uh, how God... In this divine production, started in his own production. Watch this. Started in his own production. The script is about Jesus. Mm -hmm. The production is about Jesus. Now, I know this is a poor uh, example, but in some of Eddie Murphy's movies, he played several different roles, several. In Tyler Perry's movies, he played several different roles. Can y'all catch this in the spirit? Mm -hmm. If these men can do that, mm -hmm. what do you think about God? Right. Mm -hmm. God was, mm -hmm. watch this, baby boy child. Mm -hmm. God was son in redemption. God was indeed father in creation, son in redemption. 
He is the Holy Spirit in the church today. If you, if you have need of peace, he will become peace to you. But you have to receive him. All right? Now, let's go somewhere else. Let's go somewhere else. This, this is so rich. Let's go to St. John because this, they call it when you make a prediction. This prophecy mm -hmm. came to fruition. Right. And look at what John 3.16 say. Mm -hmm. And we also want to go to Matthew 121. John 316. Mm -hmm. It's on the sheet, Matthew. Yep. Okay. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, mm. that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Say that again, Dr. For Robert. God so loved the world. God so loved the world, everybody. Yes. Now, the scripture teaches us where God says, Yahweh said, behold, I am the Lord. We're talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, now the God of David. He said, behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but believe it or not, all things are possible to him that believe or believeth mm -hmm. continuously. I believe, I believe, read that again, Dr. Ray. For God so loved the I world. I believe that Yahweh so loved the world, read. That he gave his only begotten son. He actually gave himself. Right. Because when you look at Isaiah, mm -hmm. when you back up from the, from the titles Mighty God, you back up to everlasting father, mm -hmm. back right back up to son, mm -hmm. child. Right. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Everything came evolved around the word that God so ordained. Mm -hmm. So God in this production was the child born, mm -hmm. child became a son, mm -hmm. the child in some scenarios, is wonderful. Counselor, mm -hmm. the mighty God. See, when you don't have anybody you can confine in, if wow. you would turn to the Lord. That's right. How many of you know he would counsel you and oh, tell you yes, which direction to take? Yes, yes he will. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. Because we get to a place mm -hmm. and we get to a time, we find ourselves in a place and a time in life where we don't trust anybody. Mm -hmm. But th that's why the scripture said, trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. With some? All of thine heart. With all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding. That's right. In all, all of your ways. Acknowledge him. If you acknowledge him, what will he do for He'll you? He'll direct your He'll steps. direct your path. Because the steps yes. of a good person. They're ordered by the Lord. That's not right. just a man. You know, some men right. feel like they're privileged. Right. God is not dealing with gender here. Right, sir. If a woman <laughs> acknowledged God, God will direct you, woman. We're all his sons. But I guarantee you, mm -hmm. if I was yep. a bad man, if yep. you take matters into your own hand, you're right. going to make the same mistake right. today that you made yesterday. Absolutely. I guarantee you, mm -hmm. if you don't acknowledge God, yes. you're going to do next year what you did last same year thing. and the year before. That's right. But if you want to turn things around, My Lord. you got to lay aside your thoughts. Right. Every weight and the sin that do it so easily beset us. And let's run this race. How many of you know you can't win this race by running fast? Right. Uh -uh, that's good. Mm. <laughs> Come on now. Because the race mm -hmm. is not given to the swift. It's not given to the swift. The, the, and, the and, and, and the battle is not given to the strong. But he that endures. But if you endure unto the end. To the end. That's it. The same shall be saved. Be saved. That's good, Bishop. So in this divine production. He starred in it. God wrote it. Yes. He produced it. And started And started in it. In it. He starred. Now, there's another commercial out where Shaquille O'Neal is playing the father and the uncle and somebody else. I, I, I think it's a piece of commercial or something. But I'm trying to tell you they're trying to duplicate what the Lord did. Right. Now, if, and I, and, and I say that with, uh, uh, um, I say this if with confidence, 
because I believe that the Lord God started in his own production. Mm -hmm. if, the, if, if God started in his own production, I want you to know the enemy mm -hmm. is trying to duplicate right. and imitate God. Right. Right. If God is in us, mm -hmm. you remember, I think it was uh, Paul that says, no longer I that live it. The Christ. Christ lives in me. So it's right. not even you that's doing a good deed. Right. Well, guess who's doing it? Christ in you. Well, y'all don't believe me, do you? Don't unfriend me. Let's go to, Dr. Rett, let's, let's run over quickly to St. John chapter 14. Let's start at verse 9, 10, and 11 over there. St. John. St. John, and we're racing. Mm -hmm. Dr. Rutley's going to carry us over there. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? Read. He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. Now that's a clue right there. Right. That's a clue. Read And on. how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Mm -hmm. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? If you are in the Word of God, yes. and the more you are in the Word of God, how many of you know the Word will permeate your heart and become you? Mm -hmm. You will it. begin to live, yes. you will begin to speak, you will begin to manifest. The will of God will be carried out and portrayed in your life. Read on, Dr. Rutley. Believest thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me? Yes. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the words. So when Jesus was speaking, mm -hmm. how many of you know from a natural standpoint, it really wasn't Jesus? Mm -hmm. How many of you understand if God was in him, mm -hmm. when Jesus spoke, it wasn't Jesus speaking, was it was speaking. God speaking. Mm -hmm. Y'all understand that? God is a spirit. When, when Jesus said to the storm, peace be still, mm -hmm. how many of you know it was the God in him telling that yeah. storm to be That's still? That's right. Yeah. How many of you know when God is in you, when you rebuke Hallelujah. a spirit, when you rebuke sickness and mm -hmm. distress and this and that and the other, how many of you know it's not you, right. it's God in you that's doing the work? Amen. Y'all understand that? Mm -hmm. When you are kind and you who have passed out gift, it wasn't you. Mm -hmm. How many of you know it's God in you? That's right. That's a testimony. Yes. You ought to be glad God decided to use you. Yes. Yes, in such an awesome way. Mm -hmm. And we ought, to be, we ought not mind saying to God be the glory. Mm -hmm. So Jesus throughout his life kept telling people, mm -hmm. it's not I. That's right. It's not That's I. Right. Look at the humility. Mm -hmm. See, you can't have the Holy Ghost and be truly saved and you're always bragging and boasting about you. Y'all understand what Talk God is good, trying to sir. say? Talk good, good. Because Jesus humbled himself. He did. He was obedient. Mm -hmm. How many disobedient people you know? He was, he, he was, he was obedient. Look at him playing in, in this production. Jesus humbled himself to death, even the death of the cross. Mm -hmm. Okay, read on, Dr. Rutley. 11 says, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me. Wow. Or else believe me for the very work's sake. If you don't believe me, just believe that can no man do this. Mm -hmm. There are some things you and I have done, and the enemy wants you to give yourself the credit. Tell yourself, don't do it. Say out loud to God. To God. Be the glory. Be the glory. <laughs> now say it again on your own. Say it voluntarily. To, to God, God. Be the glory. Be the glory. Mm -hmm. For the things he has done. which he has done, he has done. In, in, through, in, and through, and upon our lives. And upon our lives. Amen. God did it. Somebody says it's a God, God thing. God did it. It's a God, it's a God thing. thing. How many of you know <laughs> we really ought to have been dead? Hello. Lord, I thank Now, I can't speak for y'all. Right, right. But in as much as we tried to duck and dodge COVID. My Lord. Dr. Rutley, I attracted it first and yep. I, gave, I passed it on to her. Yeah. But we're still here by we're the grace of God. Still here by the grace of God. To Thank God. You, Jesus. To God be the glory. Be the glory. Hallelujah. And when some of you heard about it, you went into prayer. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 
Thank you. You're already praying, especially yes. if you have a praying spirit. Yes. But to God, to God be the glory. Be the glory. Bishop, the I think about it, and many didn't make it. I was. I was the one who did. Thank you, one Jesus. One of the ones who did. One of the ones, yes. Wow. Yeah. This gift, mm -hmm. the real meaning of Christmas is not about making the merchant man miss, mm -hmm. uh, uh, catch up on the money that he missed and didn't make this year. Mm -hmm. um, it's not about the, the trees and the lights, the glamour. Right. Because there was nothing glamorous that day when Jesus was born. Say that. Say that. Nothing glamorous. But we're talking about the scripture as we go back to St. John 3, 16. Mm -hmm. For God so, so loved, loved the, world. the world. He did what? He gave. So would you... Agree with me when I says that God is a giver. Yes, that's right, Bishop. Would you agree with me if I said mm -hmm. the gift giver right. gave himself? Yes, he did. The gift giver, somebody say the gift giver. The gift giver gave, gave himself. himself. How many of you know you can give a person a gift and your, your, your heart is not even in it? Right, right. You can give a person a million dollars and your motive mm -hmm. and your heart is not even in it. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get you off my back. Right, right. And Bishop, it's, it's so important too that, you know, you can give me, and I'll take it, a mink, you know, a stove. Mm -hmm. um, but if you don't give me you, yes. it don't mean anything. Yes. You see, yes. you know, if there's no love behind it. And so that's the thing God gave. Did so. And not only did he give, he didn't just give something. He gave his only. Mm -hmm. He's his very best. Mm. And that's that's what we have to get the message. Oh giving ourselves away. That's it. You know, loving each other every day, not just one time a year. It would, oh my God, it would be so wonderful if everybody stayed like this mm -hmm. all year long. And, and Christmas, Christmas to a child of God is every day. Yes. Not just one day. And there's nothing wrong with us setting a day aside like we do for Mother Day and Father Day. Yes. But the beauty is every day honoring and loving and cherishing and appreciating you know what does it mean to me for somebody to buy me a car for christmas i haven't heard from them all year yes it doesn't mean anything yes but give me you i'm wow. your gift i'm your present yes and we need to that's another thing bishop we need to be present you know <laughs> we are the present but be present yes. in the moment wow with wow. each other. And throughout the year. Yes, sir. And throughout the year. Be well, present. Mothers would tell you if you are not a humble, obedient, proper child throughout the year. Right. For you to do what you're doing for me once a year. Right. It doesn't mean as much. No, it doesn't. Doesn't mean as much. Mm -hmm. And that's the way God feel about us. If we're disobedient and, and now all of a sudden once a year you want to do. And, right. and see, birthdays, some people just look forward to their birthday, Dr. Mm -hmm. Rutledge. True. But how are you treating me the rest of the year? Right, right. How are you treating me the rest of the year? Mm -hmm. How are you treating God for the rest of the year? Mm -hmm. How are you treating the Lord for the rest of the year? Right, because Bishop, a lot of people, you know, they'll go to church for Christmas. They'll go to church for Easter. But what about all the other Sundays? Wow. Those are not as important. That's right. And, 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 and don't take our word for it. Right. How do you feel when people only respect you mm -hmm. on your birthday? Right. But dog mm -hmm. you out the rest of the year. Oh, my God. Ignore you. Pay you no attention. Don't no call. Attention. Don't write. Right. No fuck. Right. Until your birthday. And, and right. you know, some of us live that way. Right. But you got to understand no Christ. No Christmas. No Christmas. <laughs> and some of us are trying our best mm -hmm. to have Christmas. Mm -hmm. Without Christ. Without Christ. And Bishop, you know, when I didn't know any better, you know how somebody will write Xmas when I was young in Christ and didn't know. <laughs> Do you understand that they are literally Xing Christ out of the masses? Mm -hmm. Xmas. That's mm -hmm. what that means. You're mm -hmm. Xing him out. That's true. And but but but. 
Woe unto us who X him out of our lives my Lord. every single day. My Lord, mm. my Lord. I need him. We, we need him yes. more than he need us. Yes. yes. We need him. We now, need the him. reason why we need him, because everything you said can't be done, mm -hmm. The Lord came down and did it in yes. the flesh. Yes, he he gave up his royal diadem. He yes. gave up his deity mm -hmm. to become a man. Mm -hmm. Don't tell you can you can tell me mm -hmm. that you can't do it mm -hmm. and it can't be done. But you can't. What you gonna tell him when you stand before him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he did no sin. He Bishop. did no sin. Doctor Rutley, not only here here is the production. Yes. Scenario. Mm -hmm. He is God. He became a human. Mm -hmm. He became our example. Mm -hmm. He is our savior. Yes. He is a, a father figure. Mm -hmm. you, you can't tell him. No father figure can tell the Lord that he don't know nothing about being a father. Right. Because right. all human, mm -hmm. all mankind mm -hmm. happen to be his children. Yes. Wow. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. You can't tell him about... Lord, you don't know what it is to be a son. Mm. Lord, you don't know what it is to be rejected. Mm. Lord, you don't know what it is to be talked about. You don't know what it is to be persecuted. Not so. Yes, he knows. He knows mm -hmm. the end from the beginning. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. He knows what he has in store for you. Yes, that's good. Vision. He know all things. That's yes, why, does. listen, you ought to admit, Lord, I don't know. I don't know. Lead me, guide yes, me, help yes. me, teach me. Yes. Where you lead me. I will follow. See, and some of us have been leading ourselves. Yes, sir. But the, the Bible is written mm. in code, mm -hmm. in script, in scripted. This is what in script mean or in scripted. To put a message into a code. When you read a scripture, you, so there are scriptures that I have I read Dr. Rutley over and over and over again for an hour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was like I was stuck. Mm -hmm. But I kept reading it, and there was, the Lord would give you a spiritual message out of that, that passage. For an example, mm -hmm. um, let's go to uh, Romans. Let's go to Romans for an example. Romans chapter 6. And let's look at several passages here. Start, Dr. Rutley, at verse 6. I'm sorry, at verse 15, Romans 6, 15. Here, mm -hmm. the Bible, Paul, compare our life in Christ, our new life in Christ as being a slave or being slaves to righteousness. Let's start at verse 15. What then shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey his servants, ye are to whom ye obey, mm. whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, mm -hmm. but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. Mm. Read on. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members, servants, to uncleanness and to iniquity unto iniquity, even so now yield your members, servants, to righteousness unto holiness. For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. Mm -hmm. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness mm -hmm. and the end everlasting life. Free. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Wow. Somebody mm -hmm. say amen. Right amen. There. Now, mm -hmm. quickly. Yeah. If you have your Bible, you have a highlight. In verse 16, highlight to whom 
ye yield yourselves servants to obey. To whom? That, that's actually a question. Not only a statement, but it's a question. To whom? Ye yield yourselves servants to obey. That's a statement and a question. Look at, look at the code here. Look at the last part of, of verse 16. Whether of sin unto death, listen at that, mm -hmm. sin leads to death, y'all getting this? Or obey or obedience unto righteousness. Obedience lead to righteousness. Mm -hmm. Obedience also leads to life. Now, y'all can let this be boring to you if you want to. Because next year, you think you had it rough this my, year? My, 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 my. It's going to get rougher. It is. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the writer said, thy word have, have I, I hid it. in my heart that I might not sin against God. Mm -hmm. The only thing that can keep you and I from sin is the word of God. Can I say that again? The only thing that would keep and prohibit us from sinning is the word of God. Is the word of God. Now, let me show you the code. Let's look at the code now. You got to take your Bible. You got to follow me, though. We, we're in class here. When we go to church, this is a classroom. This is heaven's school. To my, so where I've been to school, I don't want to, I'm, I'm done. You need to take heed to the word of God. Look at what is inscripted in uh, verse 17. Ye have obeyed from the heart. You can't just obey by doing, doing something and your heart is not in it, right. meaning that you haven't done it. Right. I told you, I, I told you I'm sorry, but you haven't changed. Mm -hmm. Do I need to say that again? We are very familiar with that one. Mm -hmm. I told you I was sorry. Right. But you haven't changed. So in your heart, mm -hmm. things are the same. Mm -hmm. What heart? In your mind. Mm -hmm. You're going to do it again the first chance you get. Mm -hmm. Y'all getting it? Y'all getting it Y'all getting it cold here? Amen. Let's look at another cold. 18. It said, being made free from sin. Watch the code. Made free from sin. Mm -hmm. Y'all see the code? Made free from sin. See the code? Made. See, some of y'all don't think you've been made free from sin because you don't believe. Lord, my Lord. Somebody said, made, made free, free from, from sin. sin. Mm -hmm. Look at the code. Mm -hmm. It's inscripted here. Right, right. Ye became, if you've been made free from sin, look at this. You became the servant of righteousness. So what are you doing sinning? If you've been transformed by the renewing of your mind, what are you doing sinning if you've been made free from sin? Have, now, now remember the scripture said, for whom the son set free. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember that? Yes. For whom the son set free. It's free indeed. Is free. Mm -hmm. Indeed, Indeed. You, don't do, you don't do wrong. Right. But see, we've already bought into the lie, some of us. Satan was a lie from the beginning. Mm -hmm. You shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. The truth is not someone. Right. The truth is someone. Mm -hmm. See how the enemy tells us? The mm -hmm. truth is not someone, it's something. <laughs> just, just do this thing, do that thing. No, you can do that thing and still go to hell mm -hmm. because you have not obeyed from the heart. Obeyed from the heart. Let, let, let's skip down to verse 19, the last, the middle clause, the latter part of verse 19 says, even so, now ye are, uh, I'm sorry, even so, now, now yield you. your members, servants to righteousness unto holiness. Mm -hmm. Those who have yielded their members, mm -hmm. They are servants of, of holiness. Mm -hmm. Righteousness unto holiness. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 20. 
That whole passage, though, is, is awesome. Read verse 20, Dr. For Robert. when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. Look at that. When you kept practicing sin on a regular basis, you could not practice doing right. When you lied every day as every day, 24-7, when your life was a lie, you couldn't tell the truth. You couldn't help yourself. But, but, but verse 18 said, made, being made free from sin. Can anybody say, I've been made free from I've sin? I've been made free from sin. If you sin. haven't been made free from sin, you need to say, Lord, make me free from That's sin. That's right. That's right. Look at the message. It's inscripted here. Let me read down. Look at verse 21. What fruit mm -hmm. had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. Wow. Let's chop this up. Let's just look at things whereof ye are now ashamed. Because if you do wrong and you don't feel bad about it, there's been no change. You haven't been made free. Don't you know some people can curse you out and still come to church and shout about that? Don't you know some people can roll their eyes at you and ignore you and still sing, oh, how I love Jesus? Y'all don't, don't know nobody like that? I do. Keep living. Keep living. Y'all don't know people, church folk who go to church and borrow your money and, 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 and don't pay you back. They, next time you see them, they win your money on their feet. Y'all don't know nobody like that? You... They, they, you know, you loan them your money and they haven't bought, paid you back yet. And the next time you see them, they driving up in your money. Y'all don't know nobody like that. Keep on living. Because the gift of God is eternal life. Y'all don't have enemies. You know what God say about your enemies? Mm -hmm. He said, love your enemies. Didn't he say that? Amen. So we have to ask God to help us mm -hmm. and teach us and lead us and to guide us. Now, this, this is, in this passage, this is the greatest message that stands out to me mm -hmm. in verse 23. Read verse 23, Dr. For Whitman. the wages of sin is death, yeah. but the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ. Let me Lord. dissect the scripture. Mm -hmm. This is the message that jump, jumps out at me. But the gift of God. Mm -hmm. But the gift of God. Anybody know what the gift of God is? Yes. I can tell you it's yes, eternal life. It is. That's why Jesus came to the earth. Yes. To make sure when, when you die, mm -hmm. not only do you have life. Look up the scripture. Because he said, I came that you may have life and right. have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. The Lord, not only, he's not only concerned about your life right now. He is concerned about your life in the hereafter. Is that in John 10, 10? Let's go over there so y'all don't think I'm making this up. Because I know to many of you all, this is boring. But don't fall asleep on the word of the Lord. My Lord. Lord Jesus. If you don't want God to fall asleep on you, don't fall asleep on God. Yes. Wow. John 10, 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Now, let me catch this in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Because, again, the thief mm -hmm. is playing multiple roles. <laughs> Guess who the thief could be? The thief could be your mother. My Lord Jesus. Y'all ever thought about that? Mm -mm. Mama can steal your inheritance. My, 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 my. The thief can, can come in the form of your father. Look how the enemy played different roles. Trying to be like the Lord. Trying to duplicate the Lord, but he can't live holy, cannot live right. The thief can be your boyfriend. Mm -mm -mm. He will steal your heart, won't he do it? Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't going to say nothing, that's cool. My, 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 my. The thief can be your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. The thief can be your boss, your supervisor, mm -hmm. can be your neighbor. 
You thief could be your own self. You can cheat yourself out of what God is my trying to set God, you up my God. to enjoy in this life. Your flesh will say, I don't want, I don't want to be holy. Mm -hmm. I don't want nobody telling me what to do. Whether you obey God or sin, somebody's going to tell you what to do. That's right. You're going to obey somebody. <laughs> mm -hmm. And whoever you obey, that's, that's who right. you're serving. That's who you're serving. You ain't got to obey the voice of the Lord if you don't want. And if God said it, I believe in that said it. If you don't believe it, <laughs> that settles it because God said it. Yes. You don't have to believe it. Yes. I'm, I, I don't, I'm stopping. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not begging nobody to believe God anymore. Right. I'm just going to give you the truth. It's your decision. It is. It Cause is. Because guess what? Can't nobody drag us to heaven. That's right, Can't nobody make us be saved. No, sir. The gospel preach, mm -hmm. find that. Mm -hmm. the, the word you, preach, you that you was wanna, in Hebrew. Okay. Yeah, that's in Hebrew 4, 2, I believe. Hebrew, write this down. Hebrew chapter 4. The true, we're talking about the true meaning of Christmas. It's not about Christmas presents and toys and, and gadgets yeah. and, and laying up treasures here mm -hmm. in the earth. It's about following Christ from earth to heaven. Yes, sir. It's about following the leader, That's following right. Jesus. That's right. You know, mm -hmm. being, coming to that place of being uh, saved, born again, mm -hmm. if you will, being changed. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is, where is that, Hebrew Dr. Rutledge? 4, 2. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. If you break that down. Yes. The same gospel that I heard. That's right. God is going to allow you to hear it. That's right. But how many of you know when you hear it, you got to mix it with faith? Yes, sir. Because if you don't mix it with faith, what's going to happen? It's well, not going to profit. It's, there's it's no profit, profit in hearing it. Right. And if you don't mix it with faith, right. and if you mix it with faith mm -hmm. and don't put some works behind it. Right, sir. What you've heard is dead. Right. That's right, Bishop. Faith without works. Faith. Somebody dead. say faith. Faith. Without works. Without works. Are dead. Are dead. It's dead. So if you receive this by faith. Mm -hmm. You should be saying, Lord, help me to get it done. Yes, yes. Lead me. Give me the empower me. Mm -hmm. Wow. We need to go back to that's, John that's rich. 10, 10. Let's go back to John 10, 10. Mm -hmm. So the beginning part says, the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. That's Jesus speaking. Yes. Jesus said, I came That's right. that you who believe and would right. dare believe for such a time as this, the mm. true meaning of Christmas, yeah. I come that you may have life. Who, who want to die? Right. In that package wrapped in flesh, mm -hmm. wrapped in swallowing clothes, mm -hmm. is eternal life. Yes, sir. It wasn't a beautiful package. My God. But in that package mm -hmm. is life. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Kind of remind me of the commercial where the one boy got some liberty insurance or something, and, and, and the other boy said, uh, the, 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 the parents said, what did you get, Johnny, or whatever his name was? Mm -hmm. I got a bite, and he kicked the bite. Mm -hmm. Who wouldn't want eternal life? Right, right. Who wouldn't want eternal life? Right. You and telling me you don't want to live not 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 just here in an right. abundant way. Right. You don't want to live eternally. You you don't want eternal life. You want eternal damnation. My 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 my. Mm. Life is in Christ. That's, That's why right. the scripture says. That's right. The Lord said to Israel, "I set before you life and death. Right. Choose life. That's right. Now, life is not someone." Life, life is not is. something, right. life is someone. Right. Now, now, let me show you how you should be choosing Jesus yes. throughout your life every day. Mm -hmm. St. John 14, 6. Mm -hmm. Quickly, right. our time is running out. St. John 14, 6. Jesus said, for I am the, the way, way, I am the truth. the truth, I am the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. No Jesus, 
No life. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know why people are dead? They got their gifts, but they still dead. They're not happy. Yes. They don't have no life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't have no life. The living dead. My Lord. What do you mean by that, Pastor Rutley? Mm -hmm. The living dead means that you are living, moving mm -hmm. like other human beings, mm -hmm. but you don't have no spiritual life. Right, sir. Those who are living dead, right. they can hear, but they can't obey. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they have not submitted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lord, help me today. Choose. Life. When you choose Jesus, yes. you have just chose, you have just made a wise choice yes. in terms of choosing life. Amen. When you choose Jesus, mm -hmm. you just chose the right way. When you choose Jesus, mm -hmm. you have just chose truth. Yes. You've just made a choice of truth. Truth. Because mm -hmm. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. Wow. In this production, again, Yahweh was Father in creation, mm -hmm. Son in redemption. He's the Holy Spirit in the church today. Let's go over to 1 Timothy Two, three, through six. First Timothy. Anybody get anything out of this? Amen. See, most of these Christian churches and programs is telling you the beautiful story of Jesus, mm -hmm. but they're not telling you, you know, they're they painting a beautiful portrait, Dr. Rutley, mm -hmm. but they won't tell us the flip side. Mm -hmm. The flip side is if you don't follow Jesus and choose Jesus, like the scripture teaches us. Mm -hmm. If they reject him. If they reject him, mm -hmm. there's no eternal life. Right. And Bishop, it's even the same with the, the interesting part that I find is that many times we reject what's good for us, mm -hmm. what's best for us. Mm -hmm. And these gifts is amazing that when people give you something, a lot of times people give you something, and if they don't really know you, they don't know what to give you. And so you want to go and return it. Yes. Here, Christ came mm. as the ultimate gift mm. because God is the ultimate gift giver. And it's amazing that many times we reject the very thing that's best for us. For example, a lot of women, instead of waiting for God to send them a godly man, mm -hmm. they hurry up and they don't wait on God, and then they grab any old Joe. Yes. Any Joes in here? Yes. Sorry if it's a Joe in here. <laughs> they grab any old Joe, and then they want God to make Joe into what they need. Yes. You can't change Joe. That's right. Joe is going to be Joe. Wow. A leopard does not change his spots. Wow. And so it's just amazing, Bishop, because God was the true gift giver. Yes. He gave us his best. Yes. And, and we have to understand that God knows what we have need of. Yes. But many times we don't want what God has for us. Wow. We want what we want. Wow. And that's ultimately death. Wow. That, that's a stronghold, Dr. Rutley. It is. That, that's like, it reminds me of the drug that they call, uh, what is that, uh, cocaine. Mm -hmm. The devastating thing about cocaine is they say you can, you can hit it or take it once mm -hmm. and you're hooked. That's right. Okay. That's, yeah. the thing about, that's the thing about life without Christ. Mm -hmm. When you get a good taste of partying and having fun and sleeping around mm -hmm. and, 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 and drinking and, and doing this without Christ mm -hmm. and, and you get hooked, mm -hmm. there's no way out. Mm -hmm. Because life without Christ That's right. is death. That's right. Mm -hmm. No Christ, no Christmas. Mm -hmm. No Christ, no life. No Christ, no way. Mm -hmm. No Christ, no truth. Mm -hmm. yeah. take, take Christ out. Mm -hmm. You don't have truth. Right. You take Christ out, mm -hmm. how is the boy going to tell you the truth? You right. take Christ out, mm -hmm. how is that woman going to be truthful to you? Right. 
What are you expecting? You you trying to hook up with somebody that don't know Jesus? Right. Your, your, that whole that whole marriage is messed up. Messed up, Bishop. Because when he messes up, right. you're gonna try to get even. Right. Mm -hmm. And that whole thing mm -hmm. is a life mm -hmm. in a marriage mm -hmm. with somebody mm -hmm. who you don't love. Mm -hmm. Cause that cause cause God is love. Mm -hmm. Where there is no God, mm -hmm. there's no love. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. Help me, Holy Ghost. That's a good place to praise it the is, Lord. It is. I feel you in the spirit. That's a good Hallelujah. place to praise the Lord. First Timothy. First Tim. Two. First Timothy chapter two, verse three, three through six. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Read. For there is one God. Yes. And one mediator between God and men. Yes. The man Christ Jesus. Read. Who gave himself a Ooh. ransom for all to be testified oh in due God. time. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. Let's, let's just back up and quickly, yeah. Yeah. quickly, quickly in verse three, mm -hmm. I want you to underline or highlight mm -hmm. God our Savior. Yes. What well, thought Jesus was the Savior? Right. God, our Savior. Our savior. You, yes. you see this? You see the code? Yes. Is it standing out to anybody besides me? Mm -hmm. God, somebody our, say, God, God our, our Savior. savior. That's scripture. Mm -hmm. And if you can't see that, then you are blind. Wow. You are blind. Mm -hmm. This is coded. Everybody, is. so you got to be spirit filled to catch this in the my, spirit. My, 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 God, our Savior. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, look on down. Mm -hmm. It says, um, uh, who will have all men to be saved. Mm -hmm. that, that's what God's desire is. Right, right. That's his gift. That's right. I want everybody saved. My, my, if my, everybody my. had salvation under the tree today, right, wouldn't, right. It, wouldn't the neighborhood be beautiful? Right, right. yes. Would, wouldn't Michigan be a beautiful state yes. to live in? Yes. If everybody had eternal life and if right. everybody was saved mm -hmm. in the neighborhood, in the community, if My everybody God. was saved on the job, right, right. wouldn't it be beautiful? That's right. Wouldn't it be beautiful if everybody was saved in your household? Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't going to say nothing? Bishop, that's the ultimate <laughs> gift. That is, there is no greater gift than salvation. Oh, God, help us. You're right. Wouldn't it be beautiful if everybody in your family had salvation? Yes. Oh, my God. Then we would see peace. We would. Mm -hmm. But before we get to the Prince of Peace, watch yes, this. Yes. <laughs> when God saved you. Right. It was his goal. It's, it's his desire. It's his will and plan mm -hmm. that you present yourself to the family. That's it. Mm -hmm. If God have presented himself to you, somebody say, if God, if God have presented himself to you, presented himself to you, now it's time, now it's time for you to present yourself, you to, present yourself to somebody else. To your family, you to become your friends, the gift. Everybody. You become yes. the gift. But I'm not much. I can't talk where right. Moses said that. Right. Moses led over six million Jews out of Egypt mm -hmm. with his speech impediment. Mm -hmm. When God said, go, I'll speak for you. God said, go, I'll handle so-and-so. Mm -hmm. Ah, but, but, but nothing. There is no buts. Mm -mm. Because I love it. I love God, Dr. Rutley, yeah. because God always sets us up he does. to win. He does. I don't care how bad it looks. He sets us up to win. We're more than conquerors. You can be behind. Man. You can in your rent. Your mm -hmm. and, 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 and 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 don't 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 treat God any kind of way. Right. And then you get behind in your rent, and then you come running to the church. Right. Because you know what? There's uh, somebody else in the same boat you're in. Somebody else. And God remembers the faithful. He does, Bishop. He provides for His own. Yes, He does. He does. And you need to provide for your own. That's right. That's right. The gift giver who gave himself. Right. When you give somebody something, make sure you, you, you got some self in that. I, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm not talking about flesh, mm -hmm. but you got you to you give your heart. Mm -hmm. When we say, if you need me, call me, don't just say that because it's a cliche. Right. Don't, don't say that because it sounds good. That's Everybody's right. saying it. Right, right, right. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Because if you tell me, if you need me, call me. When I call you, I don't need you to ignore my call. Right, right, right. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't need you to pick up the phone. So, oh, that's Pastor Rutley. Mm. Yeah, he don't want that. I, I ain't got time. Right, right. Don't, don't we do folk like that? Call ID. Now tell the truth now. Shame right, the devil. Right, right. Tell the truth. That call ID <laughs> has messed a lot of us. Some yeah. of y'all don't know that on the other end of, the, end of, end of that call, mm -hmm. God got your blessing waiting. Wow. From the person you don't want to be bothered yeah, with. That's right, Bishop. Yes. This? this yes. It's a mess. It's a mess, The Bishop. internet yep. is a net. It's a net. A trap. It's a trap. And some of y'all getting spats with people you don't know nothing about. You may never meet them in this life. Right, sir. So and so said, doesn't that, and, and you're going to come in and now they're going to fall out with you and all of this. And, and it's just a, a family mess. It's a mess. Mm -hmm. That's why I ain't got, I ain't got time. Ain't you got know, time that's your that. thoughts. Right. You're right about it. You're entitled to it. You're entitled. Mm -hmm. I ain't falling out with you over, over foolishness. That's your page. You can post what you want. Sure can. Mm -hmm. You can post pictures of yourself. Lord Jesus. Uh, you and yourself and your and, 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 and the rest of yourself and yourself. Oh, okay, too much of yourself. <laughs> but that's your page. Post your flesh, expose. And, and you know, people people do that. They're so right. hung, hung up on themselves. Selfies. Oh my God. And I'm, I'm telling you, these 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 kernel, kernelly minded men and women. Yes, yes. If they jealous of you and your shape. And your blessing, mm -hmm. don't you think the devil won't set out to take you down? That's right, sir. And hurt you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lord, help us today. Okay. So, 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 so look at verse 3, 1 Timothy 2, 3. God, our Savior. Mm -hmm. Look at something else. Uh, and four, the knowledge of the truth. Now, what is truth? Jesus. Who, who is truth? Jesus. And if you don't know that, mm -hmm. then the enemy have you in his trap. Right, sir. Because he don't want you to know the truth. Because if you know the truth, mm -hmm. ye shall know the truth. The truth shall make you free. Won't the truth set you free? It'll free you. Now, look at verse 6. I love this. Watch yes, this. Verse yes. 6. Who gave himself. Who gave, who gave themselves. A ransom for all. Who gave, who, who did that? He gave himself Jesus. Who does that? Mm -hmm. You know, many of us, when, when the Lord saved us, mm -hmm. we're not interested in nobody else. Lord have mercy. We get some good. Mm -hmm. We won't tell people where we got it from. Mm -hmm. We won't even tell people, uh, to, we won't say God did it. Mm -hmm. Who gave himself. Now, you've given your family gifts and spent thousands of dollars, hundred, however much money you had, whatever right. it is. Right. Have you given them yourself yet? That's the point. Have you given them yourself? Have you given them you? Mm -hmm. That's the true meaning. Have you given them you, brothers and sisters? Right. God gave himself, the gift giver who gave himself. Wow. Isn't that awesome? And if God so loved, mm -hmm. and he gave, that's what we should be about. That's right. Dr. Rutley, let's go uh, to uh, 2 Timothy, I'm sorry, sec, uh, Titus, Titus 2, 2, 11 Amen. through 14. Good job. Anybody getting anything out of this? Amen. We're going to start at verse 11 down to 14. 14, Titus 2, if you're taking notes, 11 through 14. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation have appeared to all men. The grace of God mm -hmm. who is in the form of Jesus Christ. Look at this production, Christ. Whenever you see Christ, you can equate Christ as being God in the flesh. Mm -hmm. God playing a different role. God playing a role as son. Mm -hmm. Okay, the grace of God that what? Bringeth salvation. What, what does grace bring? Salvation. salvation. I, anybody want to be saved? Hallelujah. Do Thank I need to say Jesus. that again? Every day. Is there anybody in here want to be saved? Yes, man. Salvation is in Christ. 
If you reject Christ, mm -hmm. tell yourself, if I reject Christ, if I reject Christ, I have just rejected salvation. I just rejected salvation. Wow. And I love how fair God is, Bishop, because it clearly says have appeared to all no, men. No, no, it didn't say that, Dr. Rutley. That, but, that, but that's not what that means. That's what it means. That's exactly what it means. Mm -hmm. And anybody who oppose, mm -hmm. you missed the mark. My Lord. Has appeared, I don't care who they are, mm -hmm. the Lord will make an invite. He will, he will oh, approach you. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know what method God used. But in the 11th chapter, I believe it is, if not the 11th, the 4th chapter of John, he met a woman at the well. Mm -hmm. And the scripture says Jesus had need to go through Samaria. Right, right. And God, I love it because he'll meet you right where you are. Right where you are, Bishop. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And he will tell you about yourself. That's yes. what he did with the woman. Yes, he he did. will tell you about yourself in, in, in so much mm -hmm. you, you, would either, you, you would either throw your hands up and admit, yeah, Lord, you're right. That's right. Or right. you'll fight to the death. Fight. See, the thing about truth, mm -hmm. truth will, t will, will expose you. Yes. And there ain't nothing to do but say, you want, yeah, Lord, I, yes, yes, I, I repent. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That, that's me well. all the way. Right. Some people, don't you know you can hide some things from me, but you can't <laughs> hide from God? Right. You can sit back in your dark room. Mm -hmm. God still sees you. He sees you. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. sees you. He, in right. fact, he sees better when the lights are out. Mm -hmm. How so? Because he created darkness. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Some of you can turn the light out in your house right. or, or, the, or, the, or, the, or, the, or the storm can knock the light out in your house and you would trip. You can't go from one room to the other without breaking your neck almost. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus. You don't know the house that you're living in. Wow. You don't, that means you don't know yourself. Right. Right. Without Christ. Who is the light of the world? Yes, sir. And then he turned around, and before he left, he said, "Now ye are." Ye are. So Christ, God gave Himself through Christ. Mm -hmm. When you gonna give yourself away? That's right. And I don't mean I don't mean in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. When I give myself away, every chance I get, mm -hmm. that that's not what I'm talking about. Right. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I give myself to anybody, everybody. I give oh, myself God. to myself. Oh, we, that's Lord. not what I'm talking about. Thank you, Jesus. Tell the truth. Help Bishop. us, Holy Ghost. Tell the truth. <laughs> Give them what God has given you. Yes. Pass the baton of love. Yes, sir. On, on to somebody else. That's right. That's it. Be long, sir. Be understand. Right, Be right. willing to go out of your way. Mm -hmm. And Jesus met that woman at the well. Mm -hmm. So I, he, he met me when I was getting high. Mm -hmm. Messed me up. And some of y'all have heard my testimony. Mm -hmm. Messed me up. Because he will get your attention. He yes. knows how. Mm -hmm. But if you reject him, you may reject your opportunity. My, 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 my. Wow. That's right, Bishop. You may, you may reject salvation because the grace of God yes. that bringeth salvation hath appeared. He appeared men. to you, but you that's didn't right. recognize that that's who, that's right. who he was. Right. You, you didn't realize that that's, this, my, this is salvation. My God, my God. Th this is God. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and then at some point in time, you got to be like the, the boy in, the, in, the, in Luke chapter uh, 15, mm -hmm. uh, 17. Come to the scripture yourself. said, and when he came to, at yeah. some point in time yeah. or the other in my, life, you got to come to your foolish self. Yes, yes. Oh my God. Because mm -hmm. if you keep rejecting him, mm -hmm. that's foolish. It is. That's foolish. You keep rejecting truth. You keep rejecting Jesus. That's foolish. You keep rejecting. When you reject Jesus, somebody said, when you reject Jesus, when you, reject you just rejected Jesus. life. Right. You, you reject Jesus. That's right. You have just rejected truth. Right. When you reject Jesus, you have, reject, you have just rejected your way out. Oh, my God. The gift of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all Men, wow, wow, that is rich, that is rich. So our time, brothers and sisters, have really ran out, has ran out. 
But in Isaiah, let's leave with this, Dr. Rutley. Read Isaiah um, 7, 14, and also Matthew, Matthew's Gospel 121, and uh, from 21, read down to verse 24. In Matthew's Gospel, I'm sorry, in Isaiah's Gospel, chapter 7, 14, Dr. Rutley is going to read. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Mm. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Good. Now, let's go to Matthew. Keep, keep Emmanuel in mind, but also keep in mind Yahweh himself shall give you a sign. He was talking about the wise men, and he was talking about those doing the time when Jesus was born, uh, Virgin Mary, Joseph. The Lord had to deal with Joseph because uh, I would have issues too if God wasn't in it, if Dr. Rutley told me she was pregnant and she hadn't slept with anybody. Wouldn't you have issues with that? I would. But God had to deal with Joseph right. as well. Right. He needed faith right. to understand this is a work of God. Mm -hmm. But look at Matthew 121 as we close. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Read. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, mm. and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Wow. My Ooh, God. That's rich. He's with us. Anybody who have Jesus, mm -hmm. God is with you. Yes. Yes. If you have Jesus, mm -hmm. God is with you. God is with you. Mm -hmm. Emmanuel, yes. God is with us. Yes. Beloved, our time has ran out. We My thank Lord. you for yours. May the rest of your days be the best of your days. In Jesus' In name, Jesus we name. love you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas and a happy new year. We love you. We love you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Please govern yourselves for the announcements. If you have a birthday or a wedding anniversary in the month of December, we salute and celebrate you. May God bless you to see many more. Our monthly sisterhood Zoom meeting is every second Saturday from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. You're invited to be a part of Berea's Zoom prayer meeting every Wednesday from 6 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. A Hand Up Men's Ministry takes place every fourth Saturday via Zoom at 4 o'clock p.m. For questions, please see Elder Ronnell Williams. The Zoom meeting ID for Sisterhood, Prayer, and the Men's Ministry is 228-592-3235. And the passcode is GodWill. That's one word, capital G-O-D, capital W-I-L-L. -L. Berea is now hosting its first 13-week session of the Grief Share Support Group. These meetings are held every Sunday from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Light refreshments are offered. If you know of anyone who has bereavement challenges, please go online to griefshare.org. At the top of the page, look for Find a Group. Put in Berea's zip code or our city and state, and you can register with us online. See Dr. Dara Rutley with any questions. No child care available. December 1st will be our 31st church anniversary. Due to Grief Share wrapping up the first 13-week session, the church anniversary celebration will be Sunday, December 11th at 11 o'clock a.m. here at Berea Family Tabernacle of Faith Church at 68 West Walton Boulevard, Pontiac, Michigan. The guest speaker will be Bishop Jimmy Sims from Gate to Glory Church from Detroit, Michigan, and the guest soloist will be Sister Darcel Turner. If you have been experiencing any cold, flu, allergy, or sinus symptoms, it is imperative that you please have a COVID test done with negative results before returning to church. Thank you. We would like to thank all of the financial supporters. Continue to give on Givelify on the church website at experienceberea.org. 
If you don't feel comfortable making your charitable contribution electronically, you can mail it to Berea Family Tabernacle of Faith Church at 68 West Walton Boulevard, Pontiac, Michigan, 48340. If you or someone you know is sick and shut in, please contact the church office at 248-338-4748 or email us at experienceberea at gmail.com. And we will have your name added to the sick and shut in prayer list on Berea's website. We don't want anyone to be overlooked. You can visit the church website for all new announcements at experienceberea.org. Let's pray for all those that are sick and shut in or suffering in any type of way. This concludes our announcements. Thank you. If this program has been a blessing to you, why not be a blessing to it? Log on to experienceberea.org. In the top mid section of the website, click on online giving and follow the GiveLify instructions or on your mobile device. Download the GiveLify app and search Berea Family Tabernacle of Faith to give your generous gift. Remember, little becomes much when you place it into the hands of God. Thank you for your generous gifts. It is our prayer that you've been blessed, encouraged, and uplifted by this broadcast. On behalf of our pastor, leader, and shepherd, Bishop Roselle Rutley and Dr. Darafila Rutley, may the rest of your days be the best of your days.